So this is our fourth uh, talk on the subject of uh, how individuals and businesses can adopt during and after uh, COVID-19. So once again, thank you very much everyone for joining us today, uh, especially people from Australia, Middle East and uh, Pakistan. So I know that it's a bit early in Middle East, but uh, thank you very much for devoting your time. Um, I can see that this is the importance of this uh, program that uh, you guys are you're sacrificing your uh, sleep on a Sunday morning. And uh, especially Middle East is on on Sunday morning. So I really appreciate that you guys are here. Um, as, as I'm uh, stating about my company and this forum before. So basically this idea came from um, the WhatsApp group, which I run as an Aussie entrepreneurs. So somebody was asking me that, uh, what is entrepreneurship? And uh, that gentleman is working for, uh, you know, he's doing a security job for past seven years and he's an MBA. So that was the motivation behind this, uh, uh, this uh, webinar that uh, we should, you know, run a campaign or something or some program to for the public awareness, especially for our community in uh, in Australia. So, apart from this, uh, this program has been sp sponsored by Unilix Technology Investments, uh, and uh, I really grateful for Unilix and their team to organizing such a uh, wonderful event. And our technology partner is Online Summit. And rest of the co-sponsors you can see also on the screen. Um, last but not least, I really appreciate and thankful to my um, speakers. Uh, they pledged their support and uh, their devotion, their time. They devoted for this cause. Um, the purpose of this, as I said, that purpose of this uh, webinar is uh, a public awareness in this hard time. Um, we are all facing lockdown situation. People are losing their jobs jobs because of this COVID-19. Um, what exactly we are losing in this time is basically um, the motivation. So that is the purpose of this uh, uh, event. Now I'm coming um, to my presenter. Uh, today, Janzeb, uh, uh, Muzamil Janzeb is joining us from uh, Dubai, Middle East. And uh, Janzeb is basically uh, a professional uh, life coach. He's the founder of uh, Die Coach, his uh, organization. Uh, Muzamil is a blogger. He's a author, and uh, he's sharing his experiences with people. Muzamil's mission is to touch and help hundred thousand people by 2025. So, quite a resume, Muzamil. Welcome on board. I would, um, uh, yep. I welcome you on board and uh, I will request Muzamil that you should start your conversation now. Of course, thank you. Thank you very much uh, for giving me an opportunity uh, to be, you know, a part of this summit. And uh, just a sec, I'm trying to share my screen. And uh, this really is, is, uh, is a, you know, is an honor for me to be speaking uh, at a forum, which is for the people to uh, benefit in the long run. And at least for people who, uh, you know, as you just said, I mean, I, I really feel the pain now. I think you, you are telling it to me today. I really feel the pain of a guy who is doing a, a security job and he is an MBA. So when we come to a guy who is, you know, was an MBA, so we, we literally feel, uh, you know, the guy should be knowing about business. He should be knowing about, how to handle, uh, you know, different segments of the business. <clears throat> but nonetheless, I mean, he, he chose to be uh, a security guard. So there can be, uh, you know, many reasons to this, or there might be any uh, anything that has forced him to be there. But uh, nonetheless, I think there is a saying which says that, uh, you know, uh, you are wholly and solely responsible for uh, whatever situation you are in. So you are the one who is responsible for where you are now. So thank you very much for that. And uh, thanks for the Unilakes. I think this is, uh, if not uh, third, I think second time that, uh, you know, I am speaking uh, in your event. And last time it was in uh, Dubai and this time it is in uh, an Australia based uh, invitation. And I really, uh, you know, honor it. So uh, going forward, I mean, today's topic uh, has come on definitely for a cause. 
to motivate uh, you know those people who basically have some skills or i would say that they they do have some skills some uh, really you know rare skills but they are not they never tapped into that and they never uh, you know they're in the gray area so there's nobody who is helping them out or there is nobody that who they are reaching out and uh, you know trying to get some insight about if they can be an entrepreneur or if they can be uh, you know some business owners here and there and we we normally i think I, I, before before we go ahead with the presentation I, I just want to tap into something else here uh with the friend that uh, you know that you just uh, uh, referred to i think it's it's not his fault that he's doing a job of a you know of a security guard because we we all are coming from a school system or from fam from the family system where we are taught that go to school get good grades and stick, get a secure job and then you know you are good to go for the rest of your life so we are we are shown a path from the beginning if you if you look into your lives if you know if you see that what your parents have been telling you go to school get a good get good grades and you know those grades are all also discriminatory because you know based on that no matter how good you are with your skills and with your knowledge and with your uh, you know with your presentations with uh, some special skills that you have but uh, if you don't have the grades you will not get an admission to uh, to a professional college so that's that's an irony that we all live in but uh, we, we we can't do anything to that the only thing is that you know these are old school thoughts we uh, we will have some uh, i think this is just one example but we will have many examples that people have been uh, you know doing this this is at least he's he's doing a job as a security guard there are many people who are doing well paid jobs but then unfortunately they are not happy there so you it's 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 something that uh, you know that's coming from our family roots that's coming out, coming from our school system because our school school system teaches us to be a good employee they don't teach us to be a good business owner none of our families have told us ever that you know you have to be a good business owner i mean in in um, in my case when i uh, <clears throat> you know when I, when i thought of i have to get into a business it was basically that i was pushed into it so what i mean by that is um i i did have some thoughts in the in my mind that you know because of being not being satisfied with my job so i did have some thought that i will go for a business i want to do something but again i'm also coming from the same old school wherein you know following the same uh, advice go to school get good grades and get a good job so i did get some pay grades but i did not get uh, you know that good job that you know that will solve my issues and i'll have some financial freedom or some time freedom so financial freedom is never there so i i think i think you guys will resonate with me i mean, I mean uh, ladies and gentlemen who are attending this uh, session will resonate with me and you know there will be uh, some sort of uh, connection in this that we all have this in mind that you know we have to at least get a good job and pay our bills but then unfortunately it 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 happens it happens so nonetheless so what what exactly is needed so when when it when it came to me when it came to me um, i was uh, basically uh, you know in, in a position when 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 i lost my job in 2015 and uh, i had to do something so i was like what to do what to do for 8 months there was no job so i was thinking that you know i will i will do i will do something i'll do something i'll do something but uh, that something did not come to my mm -hmm. uh, you know do not do not come to existence then finally i came came across that i can be an entrepreneur so when i got into the definition of an entrepreneur so i the first thing that i had to uh, you know accept is that there has to be some risk and that risk has to be absorbed by me as an entrepreneur you have to be a risk taker and you have to absorb that risk so 
there is a hypothetical uh, you know I, I, I think all of you might have seen a diagram or a picture in your life when you know some somebody is trying to show you the summit of success so there is a water body beneath that there is uh, you know there's a huge amount of uh, a logging and then at the top there is a small tip which shows the success so success is just a part of it but that success comes with the sacrifice. So similarly, becoming an entrepreneur takes a lot of risk and failures. It's, it doesn't, I mean, the, the, the word it's, itself sounds, you know, as I would say, uh, very nice. I mean, I'm an entrepreneur, you know, I have, I'm a this business owner and that business owner, but you have to go back and see that how many risks you have taken, how much time you have sacrificed to be there, how much you know uh, profits that you have achieved or how much losses that you have uh, given in so there are a lot of things that you as an entrepreneur have to be ready to get started with but that doesn't mean that you know we will always basically there's one thought uh, being a coach as well i uh, just want to share with you so when we think of a problem when we think of a problem and we think so much of it, it becomes so huge in front of us that, you know, uh, the ease that that is there or the solution that was around that particular problem, we never thought of. So that's why people say that you should think of a solution and ponder on that rather than thinking of, thinking of a, a, you know, a problem so when you when you think of a problem it becomes too huge so the uh, the metaphor for this would be that if i ask all of you just uh, you know all of, all of the attendees just think of something pink in your room or in in that particular place or around that so think of pink so you will you will come up with you know you'll come up with something that would be pink in the room now if i tell you think do not think of uh, you know uh, do not think of something which is black in the room. So still you will go for the black. So this way or the other way, you are thinking of that particular thing. So same metaphor happens, you know, in, in terms of in terms of entrepreneurship as well. So the risks are there, but there is a lot of achievement. There is a lot of success as well. There's a lot of profits. So there's also a saying which says that higher uh, risks beget higher profits. So that's also a very important thing to keep in mind that yes you will take risks but then you will get higher higher profits as well there are some uh, very i i would say encouraging examples if, if uh, i would share that in in my personal uh, amazon selling when i was <clears throat> starting off i i came across where people in uh, in a in, in a month were selling millions so the profits would definitely be in millions as well. So I have uh, some, I have attended some of the seminars and some of the, you know, interviews wherein people were saying that my my current month sale is one point three million dollars. I'm not talking about you know dirhams or Indian currency or Pakistani currency. I'm talking about dollars when it comes to the revenue. So a person who is ready to uh, take the risks, higher risks, and those higher risks will be get them higher. Uh, profits that person is an entrepreneur so if you feel feel that you are one of them you're ready to take a risk you are ready to uh, you know uh, risk uh, anything because uh, normally what we do is we we are in comfort zone so i i am in, i'm in a job and the job is paying me after the you know month ends and uh, that's how you know i pay my bills i pay my school fee i pay my rent i pay my mortgage whatever it comes to me and by the end of you know first week itself of the next month i am again looking for the next paycheck so this this kind of thing will never get you the financial freedom you are i mean this is basically uh, you know this is this is basically a system wherein you are in a trap a person following his uh, you know following his salaries and following his paycheck, waiting for it and working too hard to get it and then getting it and by the first week itself, it's gone. So it's a trap. So we all need to, and, and it's difficult for all of us to even, even absorb it at the first, you know, to, 
to understand that we are in a trap because we have been living this life for at least last 30, 35 years, 40 years, depends upon who has uh, been living this for how long. So the responsibility for, for, for this is uh, number one, uh, the school system, the family system, they, they also taught us the same. And uh, then we got into job and, you know, we also uh, absorb the same thing and, you know, we are also there. So we need to come out of this. This is a rat race. This is uh, a trap. We need to come out of it. And for only uh, you can come out of it when you take the first step. Taking the first step is the first very step coming out of your comfort zone. That is how you can become an entrepreneur or how you can become a successful entrepreneur. Okay. So an entrepreneur, I'll, I'll, I'll not explain this. I'll explain it with respect to you know this, this uh, diagram, this particular picture. You can see that the people who are following, you can, you know, who can who are following the same path, always the most walked path are the ones who are in the rat race. And the one who breaks from that path is the one, uh, you know, who is an entrepreneur. Okay, so this, uh, exemplifies and this explains itself that uh, how you can become an entrepreneur or how how different you have to be from the rest you have to be the risk bearer you have to be the innovator and you have to be the organizer you have to be um, a person who is ready to you know create something new and give back to the uh, society and uh, create a wealth that will give you the financial freedom which we will talk in, in ahead as well so right now the situation that is the world is going is uh, COVID-19. And let me share you an example, an example, or I, I would say a real life example, where, uh, you know, where um, one of my uh, friends, he called me a couple of days back. And I, I, I'm sure that he is a part of this, uh, you know, uh, of the attendees in this particular call as well, in this particular webinar as well. And uh, he called me and he said that, you know, uh, though he was really happy, he said that I'm no more in job. And uh, thanks to COVID-19 and thanks to the current condition. And uh, he remembers that, you know, a couple of uh, months back when we were together, I was talking to him that, you know, job is not something that's a secure thing. It's not going to continue for the rest of your life. So you have to take something you know, you have to take an action wherein you will at least be prepared. And when he gave me a call, I was like, I, I mean, because he was, he was okay. I mean, he's, he's that kind of a person. He doesn't take that much of things on his heart. So he was, he happily accepted it. But this is just one example. So with the hit of this pandemic, there are millions of jobs that have already lost, or at least they are, you know, lingering at the last, I, I would say the last nail. The so once the la last nail is removed, and they will be out of the job as well. So, what's that? What we can do in in this time to be, uh, you know, to secure at least our financial, uh, you know, assets, at least uh, to be able to pay that pay back the bills as well. So to be to be able to make sure that you know we have, uh, you know, we have enough to give to our families. So that's that's something a question because people normally when they are in comfort zone they think only when that particular sugar ball is you know that's finished so then when there's nothing left in and then they think then you know how how what to do and what not to do so it's all always good to prepare ahead so this is the time when people really don't know that how the situation is going to be unfolding in next two or three months because we so far it's been more than a month we are in lockdown personally from 18th of March, i think 15th or 18th of march i'm home i'm home though i'm 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 an entrepreneur i work from home i have a couple of things that i do from home which are keeping me busy but but the people who have been going to jobs so for me it's been more than a month and i, I i'm in uh, i think 15th or 18th of March, almost a month that i'm i'm in uh, lockdown and i it's been already extended for another uh, couple of weeks. So we are expecting that this lockdown will go for another three months. So this three months time after, you know, the lockdown is over and we are over with this COVID-19, hopefully, inshallah, holidays. So 
things will not be the same. Jobs will not be the same. Most of the jobs will be gone, as I just said a couple of uh, minutes ahead, uh, before. So when you lose the job, you have, I mean, you have a lot of things to think from the family point of view, from the, you know, from the bills that you have to pay, you have to support your family, family back home, maybe your parents, and you have to support your current school, school uh, for your kids, you have to pay your rents. So these things will come haunting. And then that time it will be really, you know, it will be really out of hand. So it's this lockdown time is the best time to prepare ahead and be a visionary, which is a quality of, of, of an entrepreneur. And I, I believe that all of us, all of us are visionaries. The only thing that limits us is we as our own selves. So this is the first, you know, uh, stop that we have. Because we've seen our neighbors doing something, we follow it. We've seen our parents doing something, we follow it. And we, we think that, you know, this is going to work. That that did work 30 years, 40 years back, but that's not working now. World ahead, after post-lockdown, post-COVID-19, world will be 100% different. And I must commend Unileaks for that because Unileaks is a platform. It's a digital platform. It helps people getting into the digital uh, you know uh, system it, it's a cloud uh, computing company and it's helping people in getting into the digital uh, space wherein you can create your own digital footprint and move ahead and be the part of that particular stream which is not the you know which is which will be the conventional stream uh, you know few months ahead because right now also you see that e-commerce is working malls are closed nobody is doing malls because of the threat of infection and all that you know some supermarkets here and there in your local uh, in a locality are do work but then they are like you know small supermarkets but online systems online channels are working e-commerce is booming so these e-commerce where they where did they come from they did not come from the moon they were again small companies like jeff bezos the owner or the ceo of uh, this amazon he made 25 billions or 25 millions uh, i think one of my um, you know uh, this um, friend was just referring to a news so I, it's it's roughly in my mind so he was saying that in a couple of months he made 25 billions i think it will be billions because because the sales have been too huge for for them and uh, so he started from where he started from just one single computer jeff bezos the owner and CEO of uh, this, um, you know, Amazon. Steve Jobs. Where did he start from? He started from a garage. And right now, you can see worlds. Well, you know, I would say everybody wants to have Apple, uh, you know, logo on his car, on his computer, or somewhere. Everybody wants to have that brand image. So they he created a brand image. So right, it started from an entrepreneur, uh, small business. Now it is one of the world's leading companies. All of them, all of the food chains, you, you can go into like uh, this uh, KFC. Where did he start from? McD, where did they start from? So just do some research. All of them were entrepreneurs. They did not. I mean, the owner of uh, or the uh, KFC, he was rejected in his in all of his jobs. He didn't know what to do. And his wife left, left him, uh, you know, midway. Just re read about him and you will come to know that how he started. Then finally he thought that, you know, he's good at something. So he started making, you know, frying some chicken here and there. He was good at, you know, cooking and uh, he was some, somehow he had those skills. So he harnessed those skills. And right now everybody wants to have KFC. Now, even if somebody has to have roasted, so they will still say that we want to have KFC. I mean, this is becoming, uh, you know, misnomer somehow. So the opportunities are huge. The only thing that who is stopping you is yourself. So you have to come out of this and you have to come out of your limiting beliefs and, you know, unleash. And one more thing, which is very important, what is stopping you is your close friend circle. See the people that you are, you know, um, spending most of your time with. If you're spending most of your time with people who drag you always, who discourage you, who sort of, you know, uh, uh, tell you that, you know, you can't do it because they could not do it. And if you see around them, all of them will be doing the same that you are doing. 
So you have to change your friend circle. You have to change your association. You have to change your circle of influence. The, the, the people that, that are around you, then only you will be able to you know, do something. Consider, of, I mean, uh, I, I consider a situation that you, know, uh, you uh, just imagine it, that you are given a chance to you know, spend one week with Jeff Bezos, with Bill Gates. You know, they, they are your friend circle. These are the people who are your friend circle and you are you know, having your phone calls with them, sitting with them, chatting with them for one week. What will be your thoughts like? So now come back and see that who your friends are. So you are an average, I mean, Jim Rohn is one of the you know, top business coaches and he's one of the uh, one of the leading businessmen as well. He said that, in fact, I referred it in, in my latest blog as well when I was talking about entrepreneurship. If you want, you can just go to my website on, on my blog and you will find it there on entrepreneurship. That uh, you are an average of the five people that you spend most of the time with. So you have to see that where you spend your time with. Accordingly, you can become an entrepreneur or you can't become an entrepreneur. Okay? So the importance of uh, this particular whole journey of becoming an entrepreneur is uh, having the impacts on the growth, not your personal growth only, the growth of the community, the growth of that particular country, the growth of the entire nation, and the growth of the entire world. Go back to the examples of Apple, go back to the examples of uh, you know Google. Google started from garage, Apple started from garage. So, you know, Jeff Bezos, Amazon, right now, the leading e-commerce chain. So they started from, from where? Just one having one small computer in their hand and from a, one, from a small 10 by 10 room they started. So right now, those companies are worldwide. So they are contributing not only to the growth of the, I mean, uh, their nation, their particular countries that they belong to, and they are also contributing the worldwide. So right, right now you can see Amazon is all over the world. Apple is all over the world. Microsoft, I mean, if anybody has an has a computer, it will be PC. Now, nine, I would say 90% of the times it will be PC. Nowadays, people are a little more aware and, you know, they, they want to spend more. So they want to go for Apple and all that. And one more thing, which is very important when it comes to entrepreneurship, is that see, see, as I was talking about the um, about the old school thoughts. The old school thought is that go to school, get good grades, get a job. But nobody is telling you, or nobody is telling us that how and where those jobs are going to come from. The population of the world twenty years before, or I would say fifty years before, was different. And the population of the world now is different. And in coming days, it's going to be it's going to be enormous. You never know that you know how how the population is unfolding. So under this, how you are going to get a job? So those who have got a job, that's why they are in comfort zone, or they all they don't want to lose the job because they know they can't do anything else. They are their limiting beliefs tell them that you know if you lose the job, you're gone. Nothing is going to come come your way. Nothing is, I mean, what will you do? So they do every single thing which is permissible and sometimes impermissible to continue with that job. But when something like COVID-19 hits, they lose their job. So what do they do? They again think that, how can I get another job? They're not thinking that, what's the other possibility that I can do something else? I can, I can get some, you know, um, I can do something that is not only you know giving me the uh, livelihood making me financially free making giving me some uh, freedom from from whatever i was doing nine to five job but i'll also be able to create jobs now he will be having people working for him so my intention was when i became an entrepreneur i, I wasn't really happy with my with my job so i uh, i was always thinking that if i become a manager if I become a business owner, I will treat my employees that, you know, the way that I was treated, just reverse of that. Because you have a boss and he doesn't know anything and he's just coming and, you know, uh, telling you do this, do that. When you give him logic that this is not so, he's saying, no, tell, do, go and do whatever I told you to do. Because he's paying you the paycheck, the signature is with him. 
So, and you have a threat that, you know, if I lose the job, then what? And then, you know, suddenly your references, you know, just uh, start flashing that, you know, if I lose the job, who will pay my bills, who will pay my school fees, who will pay my this, who will pay that. Think of the condition that now you already lost the job. For, there are many people who lost the job, who's paying their bills. How will they manage? So you have to think of this as well. So you can not only contribute to the growth of the country and the entire nation and the entire uh, you know uh, world. You will also uh, create, become a job creator. You, you you can create jobs. No matter it is just one at the beginning. Get your family member involved. You know who will be contributing. Maybe your wife. Maybe your sister. Maybe your daughter. Maybe your son. At least and pay them. Pay them as well. If you're getting profits, if you're getting good profits, tell them that I'm going to pay you, uh, you know, these many uh, bucks to get the job done. So they will be your first employees. And th those employees will be the most trusted employees when you start from your family. You don't have to look around, you know, a fr friend who you met in the church, a friend who you met in the in the masjid or a friend who you met in the temple or somewhere else. So think of your family first. Charity begins home at home. So you can start from there. And then it has socioeconomic uh, impacts as well. So, which is, I think, if you if you, if if you you understand it from a perspective that, you know, you are already contributing the growth. So the growth of uh, of the nation, the growth everywhere. So you're by default, uh, you know, contributing the socioeconomic balance of the entire world or of the entire nation. There are a couple of traits that, uh, you know, uh, that I came across when I was doing my research, but these are just you know you can go online and you can search them on, on yourself. But I, I'm I'm most of this that I personally feel are very important or highly important for a person to have are these traits. These are the most important traits that an entrepreneur needs to have. He needs to have discipline. He needs to have patience, and he also needs to have commitment. Commitment to the cause that he has started now today you are one tomorrow you are 10 then day after you are 100 i mean say you're 100 people having along with you so one more metaphor i just want to give you that when you are talking when we are talking about entrepreneur i'll give you an example of uh, you know this amazon so when you are selling on amazon what you're doing is basically you're you're sourcing some products from some other country like China, mostly it is China or uh, some other uh, Asian countries. So what you do is when you place an order, so you are by default contributing to the growth of that company, that, that manufacturer from where you are getting the goods from. Then your shipment is, uh, you know, uh, put into a vessel or put into an airplane and it, it goes. So you're contributing to those routes and then it comes to the people who literally handle and deliver the uh, items to the people who purchase it so the entire chain basically you're a contributor so you're contributing to the growth of entire people so if you break if you stop and if you give up on your commitments so the entire chain breaks so you have to think of that responsibility as well when you are becoming an entrepreneur so discipline is very important and patience because now Suppose I'll tell you something, if somebody has lost a job and he wants to become an entrepreneur, he invested $1,000, $10,000, $20,000. dollars i do not know how much it, it takes. It depends what type of business you are doing. So, and now what will he, what would he want to do that another month, another uh, day or in the week he wants to have the profits? It doesn't work like that. So you have to be patient. You have to give some time and you have to make sure that, you know, things, things are, uh, you know, things unfold. You learn, it teaches you, you fail, and failure is what? It's 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 the uh, first attempt in, in uh, learning. So you, you are learning. And in the meantime, what you're doing is you are getting things corrected by having, you know, some knowledge from the different uh, domains, from the different uh, people who are contributing to uh, your success and to your business and that's how you grow so what basically is important here is that once you are and uh, you know once you started off from a from a business there are two ways you can start number one you lost your job and you started so this is the worst thing that you can do 
the first the best thing is that you're in the job and you contribute some time from your day to day uh, you know engagements so you're you're in 9 to 5 job what you can do the best the best that you can do is you can contribute one or two hours every single day and for your business so when you profits this is the best strategy when your profits level your salary when your profits i mean now this is your profit and this is your uh, you know business you know this is your salary and this is your profit so when they level so you are giving every day considering 2 hours to your job uh, to your uh, business and that that those 2 hours are that you know you are holding yourself back from going to your uh, social media going to facebook and all um, not spending time in liking the you know posts from your friends and family and all that for some for some time and you're leveling it and by the time uh, your profits reach to the level of your salary that time you can decide to quit this is the best example for any person those who are in job in this webinar you can think of this and this is really the best example and those who 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 are not in job or who who lost they can also think of something else the was the main important thing is that you have to take an action so the main important trait something that defines an entrepreneur is that he takes an action if he is not taking an action he is not an entrepreneur because in thoughts we all want to be millionaires and billionaires but then we don't want to you know uh, we don't want to take an action there's a saying which uh, in fact i i had had heard from uh one of the interview one of i think it was a talk uh, given by um steve jobs in his harvard uh, you know this graduation ceremony when he was invited he said that everybody wants to get to heaven but nobody wants to die to get there so it's the same thing we all want to become billionaires and millionaires but we don't want to take an action so what can drive you to take an action is a strong reason if you have a strong reason behind you know becoming a millionaire or becoming a billionaire or you know having a financial freedom and time freedom you would definitely take an action it's it's, it's so easy and simple to understand so they are interrelated so you will take action only when you have a strong reason and the strong reason comes from you know from a family from from your uh, socio economic you know status and many other things or you get inspired suppose you there are people who get inspired from another uh, entrepreneurs and say wow he's doing wonders in when it comes to you know becoming uh, financially free or he has financial freedom he is spending good time with his uh, family going to different places maybe because he doesn't have to go to 9 to 5 job so he he wakes up he's, he's his own boss he wakes up on his own time and he just he goes to the bed when he wants and then he wants to go out with his family he can because he has that you know time freedom but that only came because he has taken an action so that's what i want you all you know become action takers if you if you always compare yourself with uh, you know your neighbors with somebody who's who's financially free or who's having some leisure time so you'll say oh he is lucky but no he is not lucky he made his luck he created it he crafted it and he crafted it by taking an action and that action came from some strong reason so they are very important things when it comes to your business and becoming becoming you know an entrepreneur okay there was a button as well so motivation i think there's nothing that is going to motivate you unless you don't come out of your you know uh, comfort zone unless you don't basically realize that you are in a sugar bowl and now the sugar bowl is full but after some time when you eat it eat it eat it it will get empty so it's very easy now to understand you know to 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 understand that you know you can you can uh, sort of get that financial freedom only when you take actions only when when you have that particular you know uh, spirit in that some that strong reason that makes you think of doing something different breaking uh, you know breaking the chain so right now also you know in covid 19 we are also saying breaking the chain do something different stay home please don't go out when you break the chain the you know things will stop same here so when you break the chain that people are going to the old school old thoughts so you will break the chain and you will create something new 
So you are a leader. So entrepreneur has inborn those leadership qualities that you know he, he takes along with him many other people as well and he inspires and he shows the way so that's what you have to do so you have to be an entrepreneur you have to, you have to have, get that stimulus that will create that action so think around that how you can utilize these couple of months of lockdown period the covid 19 period and make yourself prepared for the post lockdown period and this is the best time that we have at our hand internet is available to every single person except a couple of parts in the world and which i belong unfortunately and uh, you know you can you can capitalize on this there are many things that you can learn and uh, you know uh, look i mean one, one more thing that i can give you uh, when it comes to motivation I'm not a motivational coach, but I, I can tell you something about motivation is that, uh, you know, you, you do have some skills. I was writing my blog about how, how I became an entrepreneur. So when I, when I gave it thought, I was like, I went back to my childhood and I was like, yes, you know, the first time my dad, uh, you know, he was a, he, he, he was a teacher. Uh, now he's, he's retired. So he got some, uh, you know, cardboard, some stuff here and there, and he he started cutting the cardboards and you know trying to, which I understood then was he was trying to you know bind the books that day. It was very common. So what uh, I was doing, you know, I was walking around. I I saw, I observed my dad doing something. In fact, I wrote in my blog. So I also uh, took took a book and I also cut something. So that time my dad gave me a scold, but then he, you know, he, he came back. He was like, wow, you did right. I mean, you, you cut it very perfect. So that was my encouragement. You know, it was the first time when I fell and that became my uh, first business. I, that became my first business, uh, you know, going ahead a couple of, couple of years back, a couple of years later. So that became the first, first business. So you never know you, if, if we have some, uh, I would say some ladies who are well-qualified ladies, but they're good in, you know, they're, they're good in cooking, so they can start something in cooking. There's somebody who is uh, well qualified, not good in cooking. Maybe she's good in, you know, knitting or something else. Just think around, look around at what you have in your hand, and you know, because if you are some, if if there is a passion that that drives you, if there's a passion that you are, uh, you know, having within, and you're not getting an opportunity to, you know, show it off, just do it. Do it, you know. Uh, just get that let's get that uh, first um, uh, you know insight from within think about it ponder upon it and take an opportunity on that and start from there then you know you can put it on uh, on 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 uh, digital platform maybe you can get help from uh, unilex they will put it on the digital platform for you and you can sell you can create your own uh, you know uh, e-commerce store and you can sell it there there are many people who are good in painting so they do painting, but they do it for the, you know, for the hobby as a hobby, keeping it there. But you can, the painting, it can be a good business as well. So you can sell your paintings and you can create your own e-commerce store and sell it. So if people are not good in that, but they are good in selling, you know, uh, promoting. So you can, there are many opportunities online wherein you can promote products of other uh, sellers and get your share, get your commission. They can do that as well. There are many things that you can do. The only thing is that you have to come out of your, you know, limiting beliefs. You have to put your limiting beliefs aside and stop that, you know, that small voice in your, um, in your head, which is telling you that, no, you're not worth, you can't do this, you can't do that. You tell them, please shut up. I know what I have to do and go, against those references that are being given to you every single time anything of business because you are not i know that this for for 100 percent i'm sure that you are not from that particular family or that particular you know uh, background wherein you were told that okay school is good but think of business that was not told to you so now you have to break that particular you know uh, i would say uh, that that cell you have to break and you have to come out of new thoughts and ideas and show people so but one more thing is if you are if you are uh, if you are if you recognize your uh, friend circle and you feel like you know they are not contributing to you so you can get into some there are some masterminds you can get into some masterminds and you can uh, take help from them and they will also help you in uh, when it comes to <coughs> when it when it comes to uh, you know this
Yeah. So I think uh, I'm good in this so far. So the only thing that that um, that can motivate you is that you have to take an action. You have to have a strong reason. There are many people. I'll just give an example. There are many people who, on the thirty-first night and first of January, they make their resolution that this year I'll have the best fit body and I'll have six packs when it comes to these, uh, you know, uh, young uh, aspirants who follow certain celebrities and you know that they feel like you know, yes, wow, now I'm this year I'll be, uh, you know. I'll be like having carrying six packs and you know what one two three four, but unfortunately they don't. And these two days, thirty first and thirty first December and first of January are the highest you know um, business days for any any gym and any of these uh, muscle cells and all that whatever you call them. Why? Because people just you know they just spend. They don't. They're not. They don't have a reason. They just either want to show it off to people or, you know, they just do it because somebody else has done it. There's no reason behind that is telling them yes you can do. It. You know you should do it. So if there's a reason, then you will stick to it. If there's no reason, it's just you know for the sake of having it there, or you you know you can just put a, a Facebook post or Instagram post that yes I spent this much and you know now I'm going I I pledge that I'll I'll become uh, you know. Uh, health, health wise i'll become fit and i'll have six packs so suppose i'm just giving an example but that never comes because uh the, because the problem is they are not driven by a cause they are not driven by the reason so if the reason was strong they would have done it so think about that so if you want to get into entrepreneurship my lesson for motivation will be don't follow people blindly just uh you know just do something that is driven by cause that is driven by some you know some cause which uh, you normally can think that it will precipitate into a business it will precipitate into a business don't just yeah you can get inspired but that getting that inspiration you know weigh it first just don't go by the inspiration itself weigh it first take some time but don't waste time in you know thinking that i'll become an entrepreneur become an entrepreneur that's not going to happen until unless you uh, you know you because these these things are also um, also uh, your stopping uh, i would say uh, bottlenecks the the big, biggest the biggest one that i just spoke was uh, your comfort zone so comfort zone is the most important killer people say people say laziness as uh, is one of them but laziness also comes from the comfort zone so they are interrelated and then there are many people who think that you know i don't have the market knowledge i don't have the technical skills i don't have that that much of you know uh, money to invest it does not take every time a huge investment please don't think of conventional business when it comes to the entrepreneurship please don't think so for the for the just i would like all of you to please close your eyes for a, for 2 seconds and tell yourself that you are not at this time when you are thinking of entrepreneurship you are not going to think of conventional business suppose i am in dubai i am in sharjah i am in dubai so if i have to start a conventional business it takes not less than 35 to 50000 dirhams 50000 dirhams is a huge amount so i don't have that much or a person who says that i want to get the he doesn't have that much of money so how will he do so he is not going to become an entrepreneur for his life no he will he will become an entrepreneur and he can start as i did and i i i started from selling online and i it did not take me 35000 uh, dirhams took me a small amount so you can become having a business knowledge or not having a business knowledge uh, I, i i do understand that we are coming from a different uh, background that's okay there can be some legal constraints as well when it comes to be in dubai um, suppose we need to have that kind of licensing and all that in order to become uh, you know in order to have that kind of uh, freedom and the legal uh, i would say uh, you know challenges to be overcome so you need to have that kind of thing you need know, to keep in mind but there are many i mean you can still sell on amazon us amazon uk amazon i would say australia and you don't need to have any kind of you're not bound by the legal you know those uh regulations are not that tight that you can't because i'm selling so you can sell as well so that i don't have that kind of uh, 
you know this <clears throat> um, I, I did not fulfill too much of I didn't they did not ask me to fulfill too much of uh, this I just need to have a seller's account and then you know get started so some people have skepticism I mean shall I do shall I not do shall I do shall I they always keep that they don't unless even if you give them the best reason they will still not start so I wish that in this in this uh, talk we don't have that those many people here and even if they do they they do uh, come up with a motivation with a cause with a reason that can drive them to become uh, you know uh, an entrepreneur and come over the, come over their comfort zone and laziness in order to become you know successful and contribute back to uh, the community that's that's very important when it uh, when it comes i think uh, i have less time left so i'll just uh, quickly uh, i'll just quickly uh, you know uh, round it off uh, so one more thing uh, that I wanted to talk about is this entrepreneurship, the business. Now I'm telling you, okay, go ahead and start, get the cause, get the reason. So how to start? So now you can chalk down, you can list down one or two uh, you know, ideas of business and then do some research around them, see that how and what it takes to launch. I'll, I'll, just, uh, I'll just tell you because I'm an Amazon seller and I, I think that will be a relevant example to put in front of you is to launch an Amazon business, all it needs is your email ID so that you can internet your email ID so that you can uh, you know, uh, go ahead and uh, create, an, create an account on uh, amazon.com. Uh, Australia, I, I don't know what, what's the, uh, this. So I would say amazon.com because I sell there and you can you're good to go create a seller's account and then you have to go and see which product you want to sell see the product which is in demand not don't go buy a product that you know you and your wife or your daughter or somebody else likes or you feel like no no it's, it's going to work so do some sort of a research because what we do is i i am i'm a business coach uh, and i help people in uh, you know getting into business and launching their businesses online so I, I do that as, as part of a service from my side as well. So there is a proper research that is done in the back end. And then there are a couple of you know requirements that you have to fill. Um, just you know go, go ahead and get a small logo done for you, white label a product. Suppose you cannot, I mean, now if you want to uh, own Apple, it's not possible. So you can't sell Apple under your brand name. It's not possible. I mean, say iPhone, you can't sell iPhone under your brand name. It's not possible. But you can You can do is, it's, there's an example I'm giving you. You can still brand the cover for an Apple uh, phone. Suppose I have this phone. Uh, it's not Apple, by the way. I was an Apple guy before. So I have this phone. I can't own this phone. I can't brand this with my, uh, you know, with my brand. But I can brand this. So if I brand this, it's possible that you know it's coming under my brand so you will have to have a small logo there and all that you can have some fancy stuff whatever some logically good ones and then you can uh, you know sell it so launch it and when you feel like you're uh, you're doing good in this and you can launch another product you can scale your business one product two products three products more the products you have i mean initially what i advise is go with one and see how it works and then you know scale with another one and do some research and by the time you'll have some knowledge of, of the of the market as well then that's how you can go ahead but if you just jump in with 10 products then you definitely are going to collapse that's not that's not an advisable uh, you know uh, route to take so that's how you can uh, make your business you know set you free from your 9 to 5 job so this is basically uh, uh, an example that i just want to share that you know you first uh, plant a seed and then it becomes uh, you know you scale it up one two three four and it grows okay i think uh, i've already spoken about this that we are all in safe uh, we all play safe we are all in comfort zone when it comes to you know having your own business and having your own uh, job paying the bills and you know going ahead with this and as i said earlier you are most important reason for the current situation where you are you cannot blame nobody can blame his wife nobody can blame his father nobody can blame his whoever so you can't blame anybody that you know it's because of you who i'm not doing well it's because of who you know i, I have to stick into this job it's because of you who i took this action 
in uh, you know launching the business but i failed no you can't because if you follow somebody that's also your consent that's also also your decision it's your decision that you followed somebody and you failed it's your decision that you took an action you failed or you passed and it's whatever situation you are in it's your decision that you stayed in the same job and you know now the covid 19 has taken off taken out your job and then you are doing nothing so it's it's fairly possible that you know uh, some people might blame some other people i would not uh, advise you that so you first uh, you know do some uh, realization of yourself that you are the one because you were fearing that you will lose that's why you stayed in the job so when you stayed in the job finally you lost the job so you lost that fear as well now the fear has become even higher because now you'll have to pay the salary you, you know you will have to pay the bills you have to pay so many things and then you you're gone you have nothing in hand and one more important thing i want to share with you is what are your plans for uh, for post retirement i mean you will have a couple of hundreds of thousands maybe in your uh, account or if you have saved if you have not saved then what are your plans i'll tell you a, i'll tell you a real life example from one of my close i think I, i have less time one of my close uh, you know um, family members one day i was <clears throat> talking with uh, them and then uh, suddenly you know this lady she came up and she was like um i spoke to my dad today said, yes very good then what I said i asked how are you doing and he said i'm i'm waiting to die let me give you the background of it waiting to die he was in a very good job and he was you know doing really good he was appreciated in his family in his family he was appreciated in his in his job but unfortunately when he was retired he did not have that you know now that 9 to 5 is gone so he has nothing to do and then he he does not have anything that that can engage him he's he's always been a guy 9 to 5 9 to 5 that's it so he has the reason to say that you know i am waiting to die would you like to be in the same uh, category i would say no don't choose that so think about it that what are your post to time and plans as well that can be a motivation for you that can be like you know most of the people they do holidays they spend here and there and then finally you know they gone they don't have anything in, in their hand and by by retirement after retirement they plan to that that's it. they're willing to that so i have my dad who is having his own business he's having a honey business he 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 uh, you know he's busy in that he i have never heard him saying that you know I have nothing to do he loves to speak to people about his honey he loves to speak about uh, you know how what are the benefits of honey how you can benefit from it and you know how how he he wants to show the people so he's always he's always busy in that so you can think of anything that is your passion this is his passion so similarly my passion is selling in amazon and you know coaching people and giving them uh, some motivation so i'm not a motivation speaker <laughs> i just think it about so i just put a emoji there for you so you can think about it what where you are now okay so i i think we have already spoken about this this 9 to 5 job and uh, yes this is what you have to think about your uh, time freedom your location freedom and your financial freedom how will you get that time freedom wherein you are not bound by the 9 to 5 job location freedom now you are having your uh, you know vacations back home if you are uh, supposed from any asian countries and you are living in the west and uh, you know you want to spend time with your family but you see you are still selling so your business is literally on autopilot you are not doing much of a thing from your side the only thing that you have is carry your laptop connect to the internet which is available all over the world and you're good to go you don't have to do much in fact there are many tools now who help you in automation in in automation of your businesses so your businesses can be automated and you will be you know just uh, relaxing somewhere in, uh, in in a beach or in a hotel and taking your family to i mean most of us for muslims taking their families to uh, you know to makka and still selling taking their families to their own home home country and still selling it happened to me in a pre- when i got it i was like how is it possible but but when i when i uh, you know when i saw that it was uh, it was possible and it, it it really worked and then i i was like wow it it does 
So your time freedom, your location freedom, and most important, your financial freedom. Your financial freedom is not going to come unless and until you, uh, you know, have more than one sources of income. It's not possible. You need to think of it. Your job is not sufficient. Now we'll say I have a job. My friend, my husband has a job. That's again. That's not. Those guys are lucky. But again, I would say if both of you lose the job in COVID nineteen, what will you do? What ahead? So try to think something else. Start to think out of the box as well. Okay. And I think uh, I'm just going to wrap it up now. I think I'm already uh, done with this. Yes, if the answer is yes, if you want to achieve those, uh, you know, that, that freedom, then I think you need a business coach. So I, I do help people, you know, uh, in, in uh, setting up their Amazon businesses. So if you feel like, you know, you can, you can see my, uh, you can get my uh, contact details. Uh, from the slides itself, I have left a slide as well, so you can, uh, uh, you know, get in touch, and we'll see. Of course, there's uh, there's something say, uh, being said as you know, there's nothing called as free lunch. I think uh, there's nothing free because we are we we want things free, but unfortunately, we don't respect those things. So there will be a charge to that. I'll I'll uh, discuss that one to one, and. Uh, there's a saying, a uh, Chinese proverb, there was the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, and now the second best time is now. So you're not too late. It's never too late. You can still start now and get your share and uh, make your dreams come true and achieve that financial the time and that location freedom that you wanted always. You never wanted to be stuck in a nine-to-five job. I know that for a reason. Prepare for the post nine uh, post COVID nineteen. We already discussed it. Okay, think of digital uh, solutions. Okay, think of selling online. Don't invent the wheel. This is very important. Don't go by you know I will start this. No, follow the footsteps. Okay, these are some of the ways that we can sell, and uh, online it's, online is Amazon. EB, there are local, uh, you know, uh, platforms as well. And the most important thing is white labeling. So you can sell, you can create your own brand and then that brand can become your and your empire. So you, you, right now your thoughts are limited because you're coming from a different background. But when you come in to this, sky is the limit. So you can have your own brand, not just one, multiple brands you can create of your own. <clears throat> okay, what next? Get in touch. And uh, here's my email ID. You can, you know, if you feel like uh, you got a value from this talk, you can just, uh, you know, quickly send me an email. I'm just an email away, and then I'll take it from there. <clears throat> if there are any questions, uh, I'll I'll leave it open to uh, Bucket. Bucket. Thank you very much, uh, Amozamil, and uh, uh, it's never too late. It's never too late. This is the punchline of yeah. today's session. Um, so yes, there are a couple of questions people were asking in between, uh, but uh, you know we are now releasing questions one by one. So thank you very much for delivering such a wonderful um, um, session, and uh, you really had a you know a hand on the pulse of the topic, and I can see a very overwhelming response from Australian market, um, especially and some of the people from uh, Middle East as well. So, so it means that Amazon is the next selling point so mm. now questions which i'm releasing one by one uh, a question coming from faisalabad pakistan um how did you know when you had the right idea i uh, how did you see uh, getting the right idea basically uh, sometimes you do have I'll, I'll just give you the example that i went through sometimes you do have the uh, you know idea that you want to do something it's like you know what the question is what so the best way here would be that you can you know get in touch with somebody who is doing some business or who is doing who is like as i as i said amazon selling or selling uh, selling online this is just an example there are there are hundreds of ways that you can sell online you can just you know promote a product for someone else online i mean i suppose i am an yeah. amazon seller. And you can promote my product through your blogs if you're if you're good in uh, blog writing and all that. And people will click there, and you know then you'll get your uh, commissions. 
So Amazon pays a good amount of commissions. There are many other people who are paying even 20, 30% of commissions, you know, when it comes to this. So you have to, I mean, this is this is a very, um, I can't just give it a, give it an answer that, you know, do this and you will, you will be done. No, you have to, first, the best way for a person will be that you need to, uh, you know, you, you, you need to get in touch with people who are doing something. Because if you if you come in if you stay in touch with those people that you have been living your uh, rest of the life with, then you'll be again there. So they will pull you down again. So you have to break that chain and come out and spend some time with people who are doing something and share your ideas. Because if you share those ideas that you have that I want to do business, and they tell you, I mean, are you crazy? What business? Business takes this much investment. This you can't do this because they did not do it, so you will not be able to do it. So. Having that idea and then sharing that idea with people that can be raw idea, but share with the people that, you know, that that will encourage you to do uh, something. Great. I think, uh, I think that so, can answer. Yes. Next question is uh, from uh, Mohsin. Uh, Mohsin says that 85% uh, of the time we lack resources and opportunity to tap in the entrepreneur market while we have to put food on the table. So basically what I'm understanding from his question, he's, he's, he's trying to ask that, you know, you have needs on one side, you have to run your kitchen, you have to take care of your family. On the other side, you have to take care of your business. So okay. how to basically balance both of these things? See, as I said, uh, you know, I think, I think what Mostin is doing, he is thinking of a conventional business, conventional business. He's thinking of that, you know, he has to set up a business in his country. I mean, where he lives, if he's living in Australia there or if he's living somewhere else, Pakistan, India. So he's thinking of conventional business. He does not have to think of conventional business. He has to think of an idea that he can spend a couple of hours of his free time. Okay, of his free time. And that idea can, when it, when it grows to an extent, then he can think of putting most of his time. So keep your job. I'm not saying, you know, quit keep your job, spend some of your time in pondering and thinking of your idea that you have, the business ideas, discuss that business idea with your family. If they are really supportive, if they are not supportive, don't discuss it with them. Discuss it with some of your, uh, you know, friends. There are, there are many multiple, uh, you know, channels online wherein, you know, these mastermind groups are there. They sometimes promote you. They sometimes help you. So, you know, you can think, you can think of that. And that's how you can, I know most of the time you have to make your living and you have to uh, make you know uh, pay your school fee you have to pay your rent whatever whatever position you are in so the best important way would be that you know you have to first get that idea spend some time around in developing and researching and discussing things with uh, you know with the relevant people not with everyone because the more you discuss about it, the more people will come back and tell you that this can be done, this can be done, this can be done. And when you feel like you know you're you're good to go, you can give it a try. When you give it a try, and the try is not that much, then you know you are you are getting more into losses. So you will definitely get get some results, and those results will precipitate. And then you then that's that that will be your you know uh, beginning. That how you can go ahead with this. That's what I would I would say in this case. Great. So, so in a nut, what you're trying to say, aim small, miss small. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So next question is from uh, Mushtaba from, he's in Dubai. And what he's asking that, how do you sell in USA from Dubai? Is it drop shipping? So it's purely up, you know, Amazon selling. Uh, yeah, no, I, I have done, I have done drop, sheet, drop shipping, but the problem in drop shipping is most of the time, I started with drop shipping, just, you know, just to tell you, I started with drop shipping, but then drop shipping has an issue that, you know, uh, the things are delivered in 45 days, 35 days, you know, it takes sometimes two months, you know, the, patient, the people in, uh, in, in the US, they don't have that much of patience. They know that Amazon is delivering them in, in, just, in just 24 hours or sometimes less than 24 hours. So they know that the most of the people who who purchase online on Amazon because the, uh, in, in in the US they are prime members they want their their stuff to be delivered now, so they are not going to wait for you know that long. But again, Shopify or uh, you know this dropshipping is one of the good examples as well. You can start from that. You know the main important thing is have you made your first buck? Have you made your first dollar online? If if you have, I mean. 
then good. If you if you haven't, then you'll not feel that taste. So then, the best the best way would be uh, directly going to Amazon. You know, selling on Amazon, selling on eBay. You know, getting your products white labeled. In drop shipping, you cannot white label. You will have to just you know, it's like you know, middleman. You take the orders, give it to uh, Shopify or give it to AliExpress, and then they deliver. They deliver at their ease. I mean, you can't push them. Here. In Amazon, your stocks are already in uh, FBA. I would say Amazon FBA is the better. As somebody is asking FBA, so Amazon FBA is the better uh, way, and then Amazon delivers it within 24 hours, and you get good you get good reviews, and you know you can grow from there. Otherwise, if one product delivery takes suppose 30 days, 45 days, then how how better can you grow? So people make a good living, good good business. That's a good business channel as you know drops. Okay. I would favor. I think- I think, Muzamil, I think Muzamil, we need to run a separate session on um, Amazon selling because the next question from Habib is uh, also from uh, that perspective. He's asking that, do you recommend any online course for Amazon FBA? I don't know what FBA is because I'm not cat in uh, Amazon selling. So please answer the question. See, uh, FBA is fulfillment by Amazon. That means MS, you send your inventory, all your products, uh, just to answer uh, your question first, uh, Bakir, and then I'll answer Habib's question. So um, FBA is that you send your inventory, your, your product. You know, the, 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 the stocks are with FBA, stocks are with Amazon, and Amazon, when the order is placed, somebody places an order, and Amazon will take care of, you know, sending it. You don't have to do anything. So that's why, I mean, your job is only, you know, limited and you have to relax. When your business is set, you have to relax. You have to enjoy your, your bike. So that's, that's how you can do. I mean, Amazon, uh, you know, um, I'm, I'm launching one of the courses uh, myself and it will come in a couple of weeks. If not, if not uh, months, it will come in a couple, couple of weeks. So, uh, and considering you know the covid-19 situation and all that because i know uh, these courses are really um, costly when it comes to uh, somebody taking it taking it from uh, from other players who are who are there for long and selling in fact one or two day courses one or two day courses they are selling in 35 uh, 100 sometimes 4000 dollars 5000 dollars depends then who you are who you are taking it from so um, i am personally coming but nonetheless i mean you always don't need to go for a course. You know, uh, you can always take help from somebody who can guide you step by step. Like I, like, like I said, I do help people. You know, the new aspirants in getting into Amazon and selling. From, I mean, I, I help them uh, from scratch till the first sale, and then the support is there as well. You know, uh, in how they can do what they can do, how they can resource, how they can source the product, how they can, uh, you know, uh, what product to source and all that. We do all that research for them and then they'll have to invest in getting the rest of the inventory and all that. So I I do that. So if he would want, he can get in touch and, you know, I can I can just get him. Great. So you answered a couple of questions in uh, one go. Uh, and now there is one of my mo- my personal most favorite question, which is coming third time in the session since yesterday. That uh, mm. how to start a business in his mid forties? Can you start and find right resource? <laughs> so, so I'll tell you one thing: age, age is age is not age is never uh, never a limiting factor when it comes to business. I'll give you a simple example, and I'll I'll just uh, you know uh, hope you understand from that. I would say please go ahead and search online about the founder of KFC. And take the fried chicken. He was pushed. He was kicked out of all of, all of his jobs, almost all of his jobs. As I said in in my talk as well in the webinar, that he was, uh, you know, his his wife uh, just, you know, left him and said that you are of no use. But in 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 his sixty, when he was when he was sixty five, that was the time when he discovered that you know uh, he has magic in his hands. And that's where the uh, KFC started from. So that was 65. I think it's 65. If I'm not wrong, just uh, you know, if I'm if I'm not uh, misquoting it, uh, please correct your uh, uh, through the online resources. So if, um, if he could do it in 65, if you are in mid 40s, I think 40 is considered to be you know young. So your youth, so you should be easily able to do it. Sure. 
I think um, this is also answered. Um, okay, and another a serious question coming uh, from, uh, I believe that that person is trying to be an entrepreneur very soon. Um, how to sacrifice your income for a considerable period of time without a guarantee that it will pay off later? <clears throat> See, I'll tell you, I'll give an example. I mean, right now, this is the perfect time. I think this question is really important question. How to sacrifice your income? Number one, COVID-19 has already taken jobs. So you already sacrificed. I mean, I'm not saying if your job is secure, good. So let, let's carry on. Most of the people who have lost their jobs, they, I mean, they have nowhere to go. So they already sacrificed. Number one. Number two, if you if you were attentive in my uh, talk, so what I said was you can spend some of your time, two hours, three hours, rather than spending it on Facebook. I, I mentioned it rather than spending it on Facebook and liking the posts of people and you know placing your posts, spend this on doing some research. And that time be your, I would say, growth time. So you are not giving up your, you know, income. You are giving up your time. You're giving up your, you are investing your time rather than giving up. You're investing your time in the right place. And that is how you can, uh, you know, you can grow. So that's how you can, I think there's no way that you are giving up your income. So income comes no way here. So in the, in the first, you can, you can divide it into three phases. The first phase will be ideation, wherein, you know, you'll come up with some idea. So give it a couple of weeks if you find that, you know, it's, it's really difficult. I would say, as I have given you already an idea to sell on Amazon. So this is the best, this is the best in today's scenario. And given the fact that, you know, $24 billion, uh, this uh, Amazon made, Jeff Bezos made in a couple of months because of this COVID-19. Because every, every, malls are shut. So you have to think of the alternative. The alternative is going to be this. So now people will prefer going, you know, uh, going uh, uh, on an outing and placing an order and giving it a date that you know uh, please ship my uh, groceries or ship my home items by this date and by then he is back from his vacation he doesn't have to go and shop i mean go for the groceries so it will be it will be just uh, you know delivered to him online so the only every, i think most of the business will go online so you are not giving up i mean coming back to the question you are not giving up your uh, you know income you are investing your time so concentrate on time and then you know when you have to really invest invest with small amount don't invest the huge amount so we always invest in you know uh, in in i would say dead things like we invest in a huge bulky car we invest in houses we have to invest here and invest in there invest in some courses that we even push our our kids to do huge amounts but then they're of no use because they don't use those things in the day-to-day -day life. They, they really don't use those, that knowledge in the day-to-day -day life. So what you will be using in your day-to-day -day life will be how to better your business, how to scale your business up, how to go from one product to second product, how to, you know, in that product, it's not just you selling the product and getting, uh, you know, getting your profits. No, you have to make sure that your product is really, you know, of a quality because Amazon is like, they will give you feedback. So your feedback, if it is good, it will make your business. And if it is really something that you have invested in a, in a low quality product, Amazon uh, customer is really mature. They know that what they're purchasing, they can return it and give it to give you a uh, feedback. So then, you know, that, that can, I, this is not a scary thing. This is just an encouraging thing. Why? Because you will always invest in something good. You will not just bargain for one, one cent, ten cents, and all that. You will at least do invest in some good product that will that will become your business and the back, backbone of your business. So you're not. And one more thing, coming back to the question again, you're not investing your income. You're investing your time. First, invest your time, please. Perfect. Uh, seems like uh, Sean is fully agree with you, and uh, he's happy with your answers. So. Um, I believe that some there are some other couple of questions as well from uh, but you know on a personal level I can uh, answer this uh, like uh, Mohsin is asking that how you can trust somebody if you have an idea and how to share it so Mohsin I would uh, I would say that you know you should uh, you know sign an uh, non disclosure agreement or NDA before before sharing your idea with someone so there are a lot of you know legal technicalities which you have to follow 
best thing is that you know i would prefer you contact uh, uh, muzammil directly and he will he will guide you about some ideas how to set up a business or you know you can discuss this with your you know tax agents as well or business um, agents in australia or wherever you are based in so um apart from this uh, i believe that we don't have any more questions so um let, let me quickly check again if there is um uh, yes uh, yeah again you know mohsin is asking about the trademarks and patents and all these things so these are all the business technicalities which you can definitely go and uh, as muzammil said that you know you cannot sell iphone with your logo because there will be serious you know um, cases and allegations against you however you can you know you can still select a third party product like a you know iphone cover or yeah. um, anything you know such item and then you can you know customize it you can register that product you can sell it and uh, yes again uh, you have to aim small miss small so start with the you know uh, small risk and then you can you can move forward ladies and gentlemen once again thank you thank you thank, thank you, you for much. joining us thank you for joining us and uh, you know i really um my apologies to the listeners from uh, middle east because they are again facing some problems um in the the vo voice quality and the in the transmission but uh, i i hope that you will understand i spent myself 13 years in middle east so i struggled a lot also talking my friends and family abroad um anyways uh the recording of this session will be available as such um, in few time in some time and um, um all all four sessions will be available very soon if you guys missed anything or if you could not join this you can still uh, videos are available from our forum uh, you can join us anytime um uh, you can contact our uh, coach muzammil as well and last thing which I, before i leave uh, and close this session i would say that uh, you don't need to start up of you know like an iphone or a tesla or a, a microsoft you know from from home uh, but you can still do a lot in this lockdown situation you can make youtube videos you can make if you are good in cooking as muzammil said that you can make videos and you can start your own you know uh, you can be a youtuber or start blogging whatever so there are many success stories like uh, i know one gentleman he's his channel has hit more than 1 million subscribers and he's just making uh, you know in pakistan some um, the local recipes in a very you know local and uh, village environment and uh, that guy is just uh, by the way um, a 10th grade student he just passed his 10th grade in That's uh, really yes in his personal interview he said that you know he's a son of a driver and uh, so other was the driver literally he lived in slum dogs you know environment and then uh, he passed his uh, 10th grade in third grade by the way so but he never gave up and now he's a very famous chef on youtube so there are examples guys so i hope that uh, you will um, uh, keep joining us in future and we will uh, based on this response uh, inshallah hopefully we will organize more such sessions for again and and um, you know to enlighten you um i hope that people like muzammil will keep pledging their support for us uh, to the cause and uh, they will keep guiding us um there are a lot of potential available um, I'd, i'd say i'd say thanks thanks a lot to on uh, you know to unilex and uh, i am i'm really i would say it's been a blessing that you know uh, i have been hosted by them for two times now and uh, i think uh, we can we can have another session if on on people if they really want i think i leave it up to you so for for amazon selling and all that i think that's uh, where people might have some you know yeah so i believe that you know people are still asking about online selling session so uh, let me talk with my team and hopefully we will very soon arrange an online session uh, again uh, hopefully with uh, with you muzammil to host yeah. another on uh, amazon online selling with some more practical and hands on examples so this is this is need of the time uh, yeah. yeah so i once again i thank you all for joining us sparing some time basically investing some time and whoever you guys you know paid for this uh, uh, you know our small charity that will go to crescent uh, relief australia for to help uh, uh, the students international <coughs> students in in need right now they need your support so all the charities will go to uh, to cross crescent australia relief fund 
and um, I, I appreciate my team as well. They supported this, especially Emma from our uh, event management and um, um, our um, founder and uh, managing partner of the company, Mr. Ziaul Muzaffri, um, and some other fellows as well. Um, thank you very much, guys. And uh, thank, you. Thank, you much. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, um, Bakir, and thank you, uh, Zia, for uh, you know giving me a chance. Thank you so much.